everyone this is another video from easy electric series and today we are going to have our first print in our uh, 3d printer so before I start actually to talk about uh, how you could have your first design so for for printing you actually need three software fusion 360 and also the Cora so fusion 360 is uh, uh, free for education purpose which that I'm using so if you are using you are a student or you are instructor and you are using for educational pur purpose you easily able to install that for free and the Cora is the same, is another free software that you need to have and somehow you need to download these two software then you will be able to have your first print. So if we overview what really these two software do, so definitely Fusion 360 you actually have your design, it is a CAD software, you design whatever you want to print so then in the Fusion 360 you could export your uh, design in two different format one is .f3d which is the Fusion 360 file so you could reopen that later on if you want to edit it or make any changes so after you are done in the Fusion 360 you should actually export your uh, design in STL format again Fusion 360 able to export your design to the STL which you need this STL file to actually print it so after you finish your design and export that to the STL format so then you somehow put that STL file inside the Cora and the Cora software somehow convert these .stl file to the G codes so G codes actually in include to the old details this is the lower level instruction for a 3d printer somehow in the G code you are telling everything to the 3d printer okay go up down actually print here or go to the other point and the old detail is in G code so that means after making the STL file in the Fusion 360 you actually take it in the Cora and Cora convert that STL file to the G codes and then you save that G codes inside your flash and easily you could actually insert that flash inside the 3D printer and the 3D printer somehow use that G file or G code and able to have your print so if I summarize that, so you will need two software, Fusion 360 and the Cora. So you do your design inside the Fusion 360, export the file or your design in .stl format. So then you need the Cora software, which somehow you put the STL file in the Cora and the Cora able to convert that to the G. Uh, codes or G file then uh, you save that G codes in the flash and then you could transfer the G codes to your 3d printer and 3d printer use that G code to print your uh, design so with that introduction let to actually take a look to the each of these uh, programs so I already download fusion 360 so as I said, if you use for a uh, educational purpose, that's actually will be free. So this is a free version I downloaded. So let to actually start to have the uh, simple uh, design here and somehow shows the whole uh, uh, process that you need to follow that able to print uh, your first design. So let us start with design very simple thing and again idea here is just shows the whole process to printing any design so not actually teaching you fusion 360 so after you open the fusion 360 so as you could see here you actually have here the the project which is unsaved so if you go here and uh, 
yeah, the, the first thing actually is the items that you see here. So see, you have the origin. So if you click on that origin, it somehow shows X, Y, Z, and also the plates that you have. So here there is a different view. You could see actually that uh, three access from the different view. So if you click on the home, it's back to this view. Again, you see the X's. The red one is a X, so the green is a Y, and the blue is Z. And here you could go to the any view that you want. So let's do have our design on a XY plate. So I click on the XY plate, I right click, and then say create sketch. So it's actually more focused on the XY axis. So as you can see now, I'm on the XY axis. So let to actually draw a circle here. So I put the, I click on this circle and then comes to the center origin and draw a the circle which is 35 millimeter. So a few things, if you want to zoom this uh, um, sketch in and out, you could use the wheel that you have in the middle of your mouse. So see, I turn that wheel, I'm able to zoom in and out. If you want to move that to the left and right and just click on the wheel and move the mouse to the left and right. So now I hold the wheel and move left and right and I could move to any direction that I want. Again, here you have these um, uh, these arrows and the home and you could go to any view that you want. So for now, we just draw a circle for the 35 millimeter. And now let's to draw another one. I, again, I go click on this circle here. So click on the center. This time I actually have another one, which is I choose 25 enter so that means I have two circle one is diameter is 25 the other one is 35 somehow I want to make a uh, something like the uh, cup so again this video is not for teaching the fusion 360 this is I just want to have a simple uh, design in the 360 I want to show you whole process that you need to follow to able to print your design. Okay, so we have our two circles. So now let to go to the home view, which is much clear what we are doing. I choose this area that I want to somehow extrude. So I right click on that area and extrude. So it give me this arrow. So I put actually the the size that I want to extrude it to say 10 say okay so we actually make this slant shape so again let's do back to the home okay so see this is what I'm looking I actually want to extrude this area I click on that I select it right click now then extrude so now this one should be extrude for the to do 3 millimeter and say okay so if you take a look again here is the orbit with this orbit you could actually turn that around so if you turn that around you will see we actually make something the cylinder looks something like the cup so again here is not the idea is not to teach you the teach the design i just want to have a simple file that show the whole process of the printing so i have it so this is my first design so as i said you could click here to see from the different actually view so you could go left right up down and also if you back home comes to this view that you see again if you want to move that up and down just hold the wheel and move the mouse if you want to uh, somehow turn that around just you could use this icon here orbit you could see the whole part of that so now this is almost ready so now I wanted to print this uh, design in the 3d printer and let to see what we should do so you come here first and you have the export so you put the export here so as you could see you have a two Definitely you could have the name, so I, I give the name the first 
the first design so let to say see the first design let you see okay yeah it's like to say first de because i already have with the same name i want to somehow be a different so i call that first D de so see here give you two option if you want to save this file and later on edit or use it in the fusion 300 uh, 360 use this format you export so and you see where it's going to support for me it's going to export my um, let I change that not here that I put on the download which later on I able to somehow delete that so I actually change the location if I say expo export it's going to be actually saving that location so now this is I, I save my fusion file now I, I need a steel file if I want to print it so I comes here and choose the steel so where is the steel STL is here so I say STL let to see let to see just say the name again say first actually D so I say this file type require cloud transition but the design has not saved to the cloud okay yeah let to do one thing so definitely you should first save it so I come back here because I didn't save that in the cloud again this is a free version maybe if you have the full version it should be different but whatever you see on my screen is the free version so it says first save on the cloud so the cloud location all the time is admin project you go to the file and say save so I say same thing first DE I, I already have the first design I want something different name you could put first design so I save it now I should be easily go to the export and I already export as a uh, fusion file so f3d now I'm going to export as a steel because I need that to able to make a G codes so the same name first D version 0 I'm okay with the name STL and I export so it's going to be actually takes a little time so I could actually go and see what's going on in my download folder so that I actually wait a little bit so oh that's actually completed I close this and somehow open my download folder folder to see that to say file explorer so that I bring it here that you see what I have here you say download so see it's give me a two file I put on the download so the first DE first DE if I check the properties the first one is dot 3d so this is fusion file and the second one is uh, somehow is uh, is uh, let to say properties should be actually STL file so see it is dot STL so I'm going to use this in uh, in Cura so for now let I just move that to my desktop I say cut so I minimize I minimize this I minimize this too so then I actually paste the STL file here so it is here I have the STL file now we are going to open the uh, Cora so again Cora is the free software so if you just Google download um, Cora so you actually get the download file it is free to download and easily you are able to download it so after you download it if you open it so you should actually set up your uh, uh, 3d printer so here I already did that I just show how you could add the, your printer here in the Cora you comes here you say add the printer 
so our is not actually the ut maker printer we say non ut maker printer so then we actually find from this list the name of the printer it could be actually any printer that you have for our case is this one so then we actually have indoor yeah see we have indoor and ender 3v2 so you just click on that and add so i already did that so it is there so as you could see my printer is ender 3 ender 3v2 which is it's fine so you see exactly the same thing that we actually have here so that's actually what you see again with with pushing the wells you could move this area around so again if you push the right click and move it could actually do move the area around so now what you should do you should drag and drop the steel file that you already made in fusion 300 so see this is first design i just take it here and drop here so see this is exactly our design that we did in the uh, in the fusion 360 so here there is jump some setting which you could actually set so see there is the most of them you keep that as a default but i mentioned to few important items that you could change so see you could have the super quality dynamic standard and low quality so definitely if you put super quality it takes longer time to printing so a standard may be a good choice so definitely if you not uh, want to have high quality and you want to print in the short time you could go with the standard or low quality so here i choose the super quality which take, definitely takes a little longer so keep all others in the default setting the print speed you could change so mine I, I i keep the 50 you could do 60 if you want to be actually if you want to change even whenever you put here see it's, it's give the it give the comment that you see what it is it says the speed at which printing happens so effect in fill speed wall speed here you could adjust that so again i'm not going to change anything here yeah the most yeah see this build plate actually these are uh, these uh item that is give if you check that it's actually give you a few item we put on the skirt so it actually says what, what it is see if i keep this here it says it's different option that help to improve both uh priming your extrusion and to the so if you put on the skirt so this is what happened so which which i'm going to put that there so before you start to printing these main component it's actually somehow put a big circle somehow test your nozzle so if anything is stuck in your nozzle so it could be actually be gone so that means it's not directly comes and print the component it first put the line here and also a big circle so then start to printing which is somehow useful if you have anything stuck on your nozzle so definitely whenever it's go a big circle few times so it's actually past that then you could actually have better uh, printing so I, I i choose that so and keep the rest on the same default uh, setting so then after that you could click and say slice so after you slice so it's actually it's ready somehow it's convert this sta default to the g code so you put that your flash with the flash reader to your pc and save it in your um, uh, flash drive so then you have that design the g-code you just transfer the flash to the printer and you will be easily to print it so one other cool features that i could share here with you so after you make it you could preview that so if you put the preview and uh, you exactly see how it's going to build or print it so see i put this down and somehow i'm putting that which shows what's happened so see this is a skirt that we discussed 
first is go few times actually put the circle is not actually making the main part of your design then actually start to make your design so and if you take this one exactly you could see if i zoom a little more you could see what is going to be happen so it actually shows the old way that is actually make your design for our case we actually designed this and it start to show how it's it's going to be printed so you are done you core convert your sta file to the g codes you put your flash save it so now let to transfer our flash to the 3d printer and print it and see what is the final product so what i did i actually transferred the flash from the sd card from the uh, computer to here i actually insert in this um, part in the 3d printer so if now if you go to the main menu and print it you see actually the file that you have so i save with the first design first project so you see now here this is a cat file that we printed in the previous video and this is what we designed today so before you push and do the print so what you should do is definitely you should actually level the bed so i explained in the previous video how you could level the bed before any time whenever you want to start to printing first you should level the bed so if you didn't uh, see the previous video how you level the bed the link is in the top please uh, watch that video so then you level the bed then actually comes here and print your uh, g codes that you already put in the sd card the design this will be the result so this is actually what we uh, I already printed this so as you could see this is the like the cup and it's actually the should be the final product so I hope this video been useful for you and thank you for thank you for watching this video